word within the elites is that Negroes are not complying. Negroes are not complying anymore. Uh, there's a, I speculate there's a, uh, how can I say this? There is paranoia within the deep state. There is hysteria within the media, within the mainstream media, that, that is that black folks, uh, especially black men, are not following the script anymore. So they're doing in, anything they can to get us black men and black people in general who are waking up uh, back on the Democrat plantation. Now, of course, this is old news. It's, it's not really old news. It was like a couple of days ago where um, Obama was uh, speaking to a group of black guys about uh, getting black men out to vote for Vice President Kamala Harris. And when this video came out, I, I, I'm not even going to say 99%. I would say 100% of the responses and feedback in reaction to what Obama did and what uh, Kamala Harris uh or what Kamal Harris is doing is they're not falling for it. <laughs> the black folks are not falling for it anymore. And it goes to show you that this is a good sign. This is a really good sign that uh, black people are waking up finally out of that hypnotic spell of the Democrat Party. Now, I mean, just uh, this is from uh, Tariq Nasheed uh, from a couple of days ago. Uh, it says the DNC has sent out Barack Obama to scold the black men and try to shame us into supporting his fellow non-fundamental -fundam black American candidate, Kamala Harris. And now, let me, let me, let me explain something to you guys who, who may not know. Uh, a fundamental black American or FBA. I don't know who coined it. Maybe Trick and Sheed. Uh, I don't know. If he, I don't know if he coined it. I don't know where the term came from, but he's like the main one who's like promoting the FBA, which is basically like a you black person born in America, your grandparents are born in America, going all the way back to your great 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 grandparents picking cotton, Mississippi, over there Mississippi picking cotton, going back to the Civil War. You know, they ain't going way, way, way back to the plantation. If the ancestry goes all the way back to like since the beginning of America, you're an FBA. <laughs> That's basically what it means. So, technic so technically, me myself, I'm an FBA because my grandmother was in my family from Mississippi. You know, my great grandparents from Mississippi. So that makes me an FBA automatically, you know, and, uh, and a person who's a non-FBA, uh, it's, a, it's a black person who's a Caribbean, who's African, who, who isn't necessarily like um, born in America or is some, is sometimes going to be like, for instance, he could be he, 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 a black person going to be born in America, but if their parents are immigrants, they're not technically FBA because that their grandparents weren't picking cotton. So, <laughs> but that's a whole other. Like I, said, I don't want to go into that rabbit hole, but that, but that's uh basically what uh, FBA and non FBA means. But let me play this a uh, clip that uh she's all the internet, you know. But I'm sure everybody's seen it. But let me play it again for those of you who haven't seen it yet. is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced 
with the brothers. The brothers. So if you don't mind, just for a second, I'm going to speak to y'all directly. And say that when you have a choice that is this clear, <clears throat> when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you, went to college with you, understands the struggles and pain and joy that comes from those experiences. It's had to work harder and do more and overcome and achieves the second Now, check this out. Okay, he said that uh, we should vote for Kamala Harris because she had the same experience as we had. She went to the same school, same upbringing, whatever he said. Let me tell you guys something. Everybody knows by now that uh, Kamala Harris is from Indian, East Indian descent, right? Okay, her mother's a full-blood Hindu, Indian, East Indian lady, whatever you want to call it, right? Now, her father is a mystery. And uh, I've uh, been keeping up with uh, videos by Candace Owens. Uh, she's been doing an excellent job breaking down the genealogy and the family background of Kamala Harris. Now, it's uh, a, a glitch in the matrix because... She's running against Donald J. Trump, and by coincidence, her dad is named Donald J. Harris, which is weird in itself, right? So that's why I say, like, we're in a simulation, probably. I don't know. Maybe it's all script. I don't know. But her father is Jamaican. And I assume, like, when I first heard of Kamala Harris, I assumed that okay, her mother, her mom was Indian, right? Hindu, East Indian, way you want to call it. But her dad is Jamaican. I assume that, you know, his, her dad was black or half black. And I've seen pictures of uh, her, her her father. And from the pictures, he, I mean, he's, he has some color. You know, he has some pigmentation. And I, I've heard, heard uh, people say that he's not black, that he's like half Irish or half Indian himself. Probably. But it's kind of hard to tell. But he, I mean, so it, it, but he's, but in other words, she's not an FBA, just like Obama is not an FBA, you know. So I just uh, find it interesting that they're trying to get black people to vote for Kamala, and technically she's not black in the sense of you know she didn't she didn't grow up in the hood. Uh, she grew up in Canada, actually. She she spent her childhood and high school years in Canada. Uh, she went back and forth to India to visit her mother and her family. Uh, she, she she spent time in Jamaica. So technically, the only black experience she probably had is like when she went to college. Whatever. She went to like uh, HBCU for, for a while. But that's probably like her only black experience. But, uh, but besides that, you know, she really doesn't have anything in common with African Americans or Black Americans, uh, because think about, you know, she married a white man, she got a white family, and uh, and of course, uh, you know, in California, I think she's like a prosecutor and whatnot. She, she was locking up brothers, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying for like weed charges and stuff like that, and. Uh, and of course, uh, she just she just did an interview with uh, Fox News. You know, she got grilled for that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, okay, this is Kamala's plan. Okay, uh, one thing about Kamala's plan is that it's insulting to black people. Okay, in her plan, she says legalize marijuana at the federal level to break down 
unjust legal barriers that hold black men and other Americans back. Now, this is this is crazy. You, you know, she put this out at the last minute. You got a couple of days to the election, and uh, story goes that Obama made her to put this plan out to give uh, black men back to vote Democrat. And it's not working because uh, most black people online did not fall for it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they can see, you know, we can see like right through it. And, uh, but, you know, we got like less than 20 days to the election. It's early, early voting has already started. And, uh, and of course, I'm, I've been registered to vote since the 90s. So, I'm voting this year like I did like did like I did last election. Of course I'm gonna vote. You know, and uh you know, it's gotta get interesting. And the thing is like more than likely if this if it's gonna be a fair election with no interference, you know, nothing shady, whatever, Trump is gonna win by a landslide. But if something shady goes on, goes on whatever and Kamala becomes president, <laughs> it's uh it's gonna be wild. <laughs> it's uh you think it's bad now, I man. Gonna you know it's gonna be bread lines and it's gonna be like the Great Depression in the 1930s. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be bad, boy. It's gonna be shoot. Yeah, but anyway though, I just uh wanna uh get my opinion on on what's going on for the election, whatever. And it's not over yet, guys. Even though it's uh, mid-October, the election is in November. Or in November, that's a long time. So they can pull anything. I always tell people that you might they might pull an October surprise. So, you know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, keep an eye on the news. You know, pray. Stay focused. And, uh... And uh, if, if something else pops up on the news, I'll let you guys know. And that's all I got to say for that. Y'all take it easy. If you have any questions or comments, put it, put it in the comments below. That's all I got to say for this video. Y'all take it easy. Peace.